Data science industry is booming and many people want to make a career as a data analyst or data scientist. So the step that they follow is they learn the skills through online courses, then they make a resume and start applying for the jobs, but they don't get any interview call. And the reason behind that is the poor project portfolio on their resume. If you think Titanic dataset is going to get you an interview call, then you need to wake up from that dream. In this Recall by Data Ico video, I'm going to talk about five data science projects that will make your resume stand out. In the later part of the video, I will mention a unique platform through which you can get an opportunity to work on real life AI projects. So make sure you watch till the end. The first two are data analytics projects where the purpose is to build BI dashboard. The remaining three are end-to-end -end machine learning projects. Now the good news is that these are guided projects where we have YouTube videos available along with the source code. The first project is HR Analytics Dashboard where we invited the HR manager of a software company called Atlic Technologies and we use a real data set to build employee presence insights dashboard. Now this was a guided project and we have the entire playlist available so check the video description below. What we did is we went over the problem statement then we worked on data gathering and transformation, creating metrics, the DAX measures in Power BI, and then build a nice visualization dashboard in Power BI. So by working on this project, you are not only building technical skills, but you are building soft skills such as how to ask critical questions during the requirement gathering and how do you use right communication to manage expectations from various stakeholders. Here is the list of skills that you will build while working on this project and these are the skills that you can mention on your resume. The second project is providing revenue insights in hospitality domain. Now you can download this unique data set by going to this resume project challenge page. Now by clicking on download button, you will download all the data as well as the rough mockups that are provided by the stakeholders on how they want to see the dashboard. Now, by working on this project, you are building the necessary data analytics skills. You can use any BI tool, Power BI Tableau or any other tool, and you will learn data transformation techniques, how to build measures, how to build effective visualization dashboards. Once that is done, you're not stopping there. You're posting your project on LinkedIn or some other platform and you're showcasing your talent to the world. By doing this, you get an opportunity to practice the presentation skills. For example, this particular person posted the dashboard. Look how beautiful the dashboard is. And then he built a nice presentation to convey his data story. So you are getting an opportunity to build the data storytelling skills, to build the presentation skills. And by writing a nice uh, LinkedIn post, you are reaching to so many people on the LinkedIn and some of these people might be the recruiters. This other person wrote this li nice LinkedIn post along with his dashboard, his GitHub repo, his live dashboard on a tool called Novi Pro where someone can just go and interact with the dashboard. And then he recorded a nice video and he talked about all the insights that he generated uh, by building this dashboard. So this way, you see, you're building a lot of soft skills as well. When it comes to machine learning, the major categories under which you can build your projects are classification, regression, using statistical models, then comes deep learning, clustering, and reinforcement learning. The third project in our project list is spot celebrity image classification. So here is the YouTube playlist where we build end-to-end machine learning projects for spot celebrity image classification. Here we build a website where you just drag and drop an image of a person and it will tell you which spot celebrity that image belongs to. Now here you're not only learning how to build machine learning model but you're getting an experience of the entire end-to-end -end process right from data collection using tools like Fatcoon then building a feature engineering pipeline, doing data cleaning, data augmentation, then building machine learning model using support vector machine and sklearn, then deploying the model to a cloud and building a website in HTML, CSS, where you can make calls to your backend. Now the backend is built using something called 
Flask. So the Flask server runs on top of the trained machine learning model and it will serve the request from the UI. So you see, you are getting an experience of the entire end-to-end -end life cycle and having such a project with relevant skills that you can mention in your resume is going to be very beneficial. Now I want to discuss a few tips on how you can customize uh, this project to make it kind of your own unique project. Number one tip is instead of spot celebrity image classification, you can do classification for the images of your friends and family or your favorite movie stars. For data collection, we used a Chrome extension called Fatkun in this project, but you can use Python web scraping instead. Instead of using sklearn and support vector machine, you can use CNN along with PyTorch or TensorFlow. And then for deployment, instead of AWS, maybe you can use Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure. By following all these tips, you are not just copying some projects from the internet, but you're building your own unique project. And really the guided project that I talked about, you're using that as a template or your guide, which can help you build your own unique project uh, end to end. You will realize that building end to end data science project using native tools such as Python, Jupyter Notebook and manually deploying it to cloud is a lot of work. For that reason, organization use tools like Data IQ, which helps you build end to end data analytics or data science project with so much ease. Next one in the list is some type of linear regression project. For example, we have this guided playlist for Bangalore property price prediction. Now here we build a website where you can enter certain factors and it will tell you what will be the price of this property. Now in this project, we got the data set from Kaggle, then we did some data cleaning, outlier removal using plus and minus three standard deviation feature engineering. Then we build linear regression model in sklearn, hyperparameter tuning using grid search CV, building a flask server around your model and deploying that to AWS cloud and then website would call that flask server in AWS cloud. So you see, it's an end to end project. Now you can customize this project. I have a few ideas that I want to share. Instead of a property price prediction, you can predict a probability of a disease in certain person, for example, diabetes or high blood pressure based on the certain lifestyle factors. Or let's say you love tennis and you want to predict who is going to win next tennis match based on certain other factors. All you need to do is just Google regression project ideas and you will find so many ideas. I also want to mention few websites from where uh, you can collect all the data and I'm gonna post a link of all these websites from where you can uh, get useful data for your project in the video description below. The other customization idea is instead of Flask server, you will use Fast API. And for deployment, instead of AWS, use Azure or Google Cloud or it's even better if you can do the whole project in tools like Data IQ. The last project that we have in the list is a plant disease classifier. So what we're doing here is we're building a mobile app which any farmer or anyone who is growing vegetables can use to take a picture of a plant and that app will tell you if the plant has a disease or not. Now for this project, I used uh, the potato plant images from Kegel, but you can get uh, these images from any other sources and it could be related to uh, any other vegetable plant. And what we're doing here is we are using convolutional neural network and TensorFlow for performing the image classification. And not only we are building a model, but we are deploying it to a Google Cloud, especially GCP. And here is the brief technical architecture of the entire project. We built our application, mobile application, in React Native. So again, it's an end-to-end -end project. Now, when you go through this guided project list, you are getting an idea on the structure of the project. So you can use this as a template and now you can build your own unique project for your resume, such as classifying MRI images uh, to detect if the image has a brain tumor or not. Or once again, using these images to classify diseases in 
some other plants. In the end, I want to mention one amazing platform that can give you an opportunity to work on real life AI projects. That platform is Omdena. Omdena is a social enterprise that works with NGOs and startups to solve real world problems using AI. Once you apply for any of these projects, they will make a team of experienced data scientists and freshers. And when you work together on a real life project dealing with real life client, you get a lot of valuable experience. So although it's related to NGO and you're not getting paid, that experience looks pretty good on your resume and many people have got a job uh, by showing those experiences on their resume. Also, if you get picked up for Omdena's best talent, you will get some paid project assignments as well. I wish you all the best for your data science projects journey. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.